Previously on Fort Lang's Emblem. What the? Ow! I mean, the, the ballistas do t do pathetic damage to us. Ah, never mind. All right, Bartra can deal. Oh, what the? F he has a heavy spare. Are you f shitting me? No, oh my God. What? What the? F oh my God! And of course, I still. F oh my God! I forgot about this guy. And he. F I don't. I shoot. I, I don't deserve this. Honestly, I should just reset right now. I don't give a shit anymore. Here you go. Have a f devil axe. I'm still really worried about what that falcon knight is gonna do. Oh my god. <laughs> How am I still alive? Did I just miss a 91? Alright. Now we got that whole mess sorted out. We should decide our next move. Pitfall. Shame on y'all. Oh, Heilwetter. I miss solo commentaries. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mings and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fort Mings Emblem. It is time to continue to the <laughs> to the anti-wind tribe apparently. Let us see where our adventure takes us next. <laughs> Kick. The Northern Mountains. From ancient times, a small passage to Fire Emblem main lies there. Hidden within this cracked remind crafty and bedrock and knife edge peaks. To avoid scrubland and combat, Manx's troops take the mountain path. They begin climbing higher and higher. Unbeknownst to the group, hordes of dark creatures now roam the peaks, hunting the living. Creeping at dankness. My lord, there is an abandoned fort just ahead of us. Dear Naga, how the hell do you manage to see anything through this fog? Your grace, compared to what we have in Tracia, this fog is a joke. <laughs> That's a reference to Tracia 776 fog. The worst fog. If you say so. Anyways, we should make haste for that building. It's almost midnight and our troops deserve a good night's rest. Orson, wait. Huh? Is something wrong? I think I saw something moving near those ruins, right there. Oh, I see them now. Guys, be quiet. It seems we're dealing with those weird undeads. Understood. Everyone, stay sharp. Do not stray from the group. And for the love of Naga, do not take stupid risks like I always do. What spacious chambers! Hmm, a bit dusty, but I suppose there's no better option. I've decided. We'll bed here for tonight. Gregor, start a fire while I go look for the toilet. Uh-oh, Gregor is afraid that we'll have to wait. What? Are you completely insane, Gregor? My stomach is still recovering from those nightmarish pastries. Look over there, Missy. There are zombies running about this place. We should turn tail and flee. These foul creatures dare assault us at our lowest. I, La Rochelle, shall wipe these beasts off the face of Phantom Land for good. Come, Gregor. The Zigabliad. <laughs> Zigabliad. Alright, so... It is time to take on this uh, chapter. I do like this level, actually. It's not as nightmarish as the ghost ship, but I still like it. So here is La Rochelle. She's a great lord. Oh my god, is that Rally Spectrum I see? Oh my god, that's a really good skill for her to have. So, why is La Rochelle a great lord? Well, this is a reference to my Fire Emblem 8 randomizer, where I got La Rochelle not as a great lord, I got her as a regular lord, but then she promotes, of course, into a great lord, and she actually became one of the better units on my team. In fact, she ended up killing the Demon King, and she just, like, ended up being really good. I remember everyone loved it, because I always said how I, how would, I would love, like, La Rochelle to be the main character of Fire Emblem 8, and in that randomizer, she actually became the main character. She killed the Demon King, and she was the Lord, and she willed the Sieglin, so she was basically better at Erika. Uh, Gregor! Gregor is here just because I love Gregor. I mean, Gregor is an amazing guy. I did a spotlight on him a while back. He is one of my favorite Awakening characters. He's actually one of my favorite heroes of all time. Or favorite mercenary slash heroes of all time. Yeah, I, I really think he's an amazing character. Once you start delving into his supports, you really, really start to get uh, fond of him, honestly. His backstory is amazing, and his character is just really deep compared to a lot of the other Awakening ones. He has Sol as his personal skill. That seems pretty good, honestly. He seems a tad better than Dosla, honestly. So yeah, um, for this chapter, I will not be bringing 313 Archer. By the way, I would just like to say, 313 Mercenary having Foresight is a bug. If you boot up 1.4, you will not get the skill on him. I don't know what happened, it was just some weird side effect from me updating the patch. But he's not supposed to have this skill. I'm gonna bench him anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, we're gonna bring Bui, and then I wanna bring Rat as well, but I'm... 
starting to think that Bartra might be a little bit super, super, um, fluctuous. I don't know. Like, he's, he's not, it's not leveling up like I want him to, so. Honestly, I want Rad. Also, I'm giving the Bright Lads to Agim, because I'm gonna try to give him some experience in this, um, in this map. And I brought Raisin and Sarah, and they both wield, um, Torch Staves, so that should give them some nice experience. I still won't have my Blessed Axe, though. I do wonder when I'm gonna get my Blessed Axe, so, yeah, let's go. Now, one thing that's a little bit annoying about La Rochelle being a Great Lord is that she can ride off and get herself killed. Normally, in Vanilla Sacred Stone, she just kinda sort of hangs back and doesn't really do anything. But now she will pretty much ride out and start killing stuff, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, let's start to torch up the place. Uh, actually, just probably should send like one healer in each direction. I lost my Pugia last map, that is kind of annoying. But hey, what can you do? I guess what I can do though is I can start to attack these guys with boss win. Sounds like a plan. But yeah, with two healers spamming torch staves, I will be able to light this place up. I think... I didn't bring a torch, did I? And I'm gonna have to use that on Manx, I think. I don't think I'll be needing the hammer. But yeah, I might as well use a torch, why not? They're pretty easy to come by. So let's just see. I There should be like some mouth dogs and shit over here. Some skeletons. They got swords for the most part. Swords, la actually two swords and two lances, okay. Yeah, I'll just send Sarah down here, I guess. She can, uh, she can torch up this place. I do this mostly for experience. There we go. And, I, yeah, I guess Orson can deal with those guys. We'll just dance for him. And then I'll send Ogim with uh, with his Bright Lands down to deal with those guys. In fact, I am going to reposition him with Mecha and do this. That should work. And then we'll do this. Now, I do want to train Rad. In fact, I might just give him a support with Mecha. So we'll see about that. Also, Clarence Louise needs to build their support. I know they have one. It's a little bit slow, but they need to build it. But yeah, as you can see, the, the Revenants are starting to get really tanky at this point. <laughs> 50 hit points. I mean, they still die, but they just got so much hit points. Still like an overinflated ball of hit points, but still. There's a very nasty Death Coil boss on this uh, map that spawns when the door gets opened, which can happen sometimes, because I think one of the skeletons have like a door key. And he's actually really nasty. When I played this map last time, I think Lara Shell got killed? I'm not sure. I, someone got killed by that Death Coil. Anyway, this is some really nice experience for Agim. Agim is a little bit behind schedule, I think. I took a look at his stats, and I compared him with his average stats from my shitpost. He's definitely a couple stat points behind, which really sucks, but I've sort of invested into him now. He's got an A support with mecha and everything. And, uh, well, I guess Gregor and Lara Shell can hold their own for pretty long while. But yeah, I wonder if there is a shop or armory where you can buy bright weapons, because that would be really, really good. Because I wouldn't mind another bright lance and a bright uh, axe, that'd be pretty good. So Gregor will heal himself occasionally, thanks to his soul, so that's pretty good. There you go. I want to see if I can torch the place around him a little bit so I get a better vision. Um, but yeah, as you can see, La Rochelle, pretty fucking good. And then I, yeah, I think, I think Gregor mostly stays put, unless there's like an enemy right in his range. So yeah, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna torch up here. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't bring a... Wait, do I have a chest key? Do I have a chest key? I do not have a chest key. I think these guys drop chest keys, at least some of them do. Pretty sure there's like a droppable chest key here. Because I did not bring Makoto for this, which really sucks. Uh, yeah, there's one chest key right here, so that's good. So we'll get some of the treasure at the very least. And then I think we'll just keep sniping the skeleton, honestly, so he won't bother Orson. There you go. You're gonna get attacked from the north by like four or five zombies as well. Um... But yeah, let's build Mecha and Rad support. I know they have one. And yeah, there's a skeleton here with a bow. Gotta be a little bit careful about that guy. Uh, Manx has a hand axe, so that should be fine. I could send Ogim over to kill these guys, but I'm a little bit worried he's gonna die, so... 
I'm just gonna keep him here for the time being, I think. Alright, Orson! Oh shit. <laughs> Actually not enough damage to kill this guy. Unless we get a crit. Which, I mean... We can get if we use the Puji. Sure, let's just crit him. Gotta be careful not to break this one, though, because this is actually my last Puji. I don't know if you get any more Pujis in Fort Mang Sumblum, but just in case, I want to be a little bit careful. I do wonder who Boy supports with. Probably Garrick, but I, I wonder if they've added some more supports for him. Uh, okay, this kind of sucks a little bit, but should be alright. If he hits him, I always got Sarah nearby. But yeah, you can see how beefy these guys are. I can only imagine, like, Promoter Renovance in the endgame probably have, like, more than the hit point cap. Alright, let's torch up here next. I just seem to recall there being a lot of moguls to the south, and I know that the boss of the chapter... Yeah, there he is. He's a white. Um, I do believe he wields a sword. Orson should be able to deal with him. I, I, I saved some uses of my sword slayer, so that should be fine. Bada bada bum. But yeah, these monsters, they don't seem very strong for this point of the game. But then again, that's sort of what I heard, was that this, there's like a big difficulty spike towards the late mid-game and towards the early late game. Um, but so far, the enemies seem really weak compared to what the other units on my team can fight right now. I mean, sure, I got some supports, which are really, really good, but still, I haven't grinded, like... i am not entered the Tower of Valny, I've not entered a skirmish, so... I've been running no grind pretty much, and I've been using mecha pretty liberally too. So I've not been getting as much experience on my other units as I could. Alright, La Rochelle's gonna run off and kill these guys. Do Gregor just stand still? I seem to recall him moving, but I think maybe Dust has like the defense AI normally. Um, Alright, Orison, you go deal with all these guys. Nice! Love his Sarah support. So good. There we go. I should probably leave someone behind to deal with the zombies, though. Uh, do we just let Rad deal with them? Rad and Mecha, maybe? Could work. We could do that, although... Um, Mecha really buffs Ogim, though, but maybe Ogim doesn't need it, honestly. He has the Bright Lance, so he should be good here. There we go. And then... Yeah, we'll just keep sending Manx over here. How's Manx's resistance? It's pretty good, isn't it? It's five. It's decent. Not great, but decent. But yeah, holy shit, my units are strong right now. Look at Claire. 44% crit for the win. Eh. Yeah, it kind of sucks about Makoto. I think... Um, the chest to the south, I think it has some gold in it. Oh, very good level up, Claire. Very good level up. I don't remember which has what, honestly. Anyway, I'm gonna heal a little bit this turn instead of torching. There we go. Raisin's gonna make it to level 20 without even breaking her flux stone at this rate. But yeah, her growth rates aren't fantastic, though. Um, maybe Sluis, actually. And eh, no, you know what? We'll let Rad deal with the reinforcements. That is what I have decided. There we go. And let's just send Bosswin down there as well. Bosswin supports with uh, Sarah and Orson, so that should be pretty alright. But yeah, they should pop up at some point. Oh. Wow. Look at Orson, though. Power of supports. Oh, come on. Come on, Orson. <laughs> no longbow whites, the scariest monster type. <laughs> Five hit, one damage. Whoop whoop. <laughs> truly terrifying. Truly terrifying. Yeah, here they are. Here they are. All right, so we put Mecha here. Oh, that's right. I was gonna give Mecha the Naga icon, right? And then I'm gonna see how scary these guys are against Rad. Not very honestly. If I give him like a steel sword, he'll be fine. He will be absolutely fine. Mm. Let's just center a torch here. 
I want to shoot a little bit on that guy before I go in with Orson, because I want to make sure I actually kill him. There we go. And then I think Orson with the Sword Reaver is probably our best bet at dealing with the white boss. Uh, although I don't really want to use it against this guy. I'm just going to use an Iron Axe. He's going to hit anyway. Look at that. Perfect. There we go. And then we got to get Sarah out of there, so... Actually, can she get out of there now? I don't think she can. Can she? Uh, no, she cannot. Ah, oh, she's going to get attacked. Might as well put her in the forest then. She's gonna get attacked by one of these guys regardless, but this is fine. Ba -ba -ba. This Louise keeps doubling, because she is fasties. And in fact, we might just let her deal with the ice. I mean, we could put Manx with the hand axe there, but they'll probably go for Louise, I think. Sort of depends. Um, or, actually, Claire is probably really good here. Yeah, if we put if we heal up Claire and we put Manx next to her so she gets the thirsty buff. I think Claire can deal with these guys pretty easily. Yeah, we'll put her here. And then we'll put Manx behind her. And then Ogim here. This works. 16% <laughs> hit chance against Sarah. Good luck. Oh, this is gonna take Rad some time though. Actually, no, he 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 two round KOs them. They have a lot of hit points, but not a lot of else, so that's just fine. And it's good experience for him too, so I'm okay with this. 50 hit points though. It looks a lot more terrifying than it actually is. Considering their defense is so low. One thing that's kind of weird though about Revenants and Sacred Stones that I always found puzzling is that they have a lot of luck. And not just a little bit, they got a shit ton of luck. I'm gonna show you later. Oh. Claire, stop taking damage. Give you a, a Milos robe and everything. Nice. The eyes aren't gonna do much to her though. Um, I'm gonna throw this to the convoy. I don't remember which. Oh, oh. Okay, Claire, you can you can stop taking damage now. Will the eyes kill her now? Uh, okay, they're the dogs. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh yes. Is that the third generic crit she gets in a row? What the hell? Uh, okay, so as long as the other guy doesn't do 8 to her, should be alright. Uh, yeah, we're good. Holy shit. This was scary though. One hit point remaining. But she got out of it. Thanks to my thirsty buff. See? Thirst is good, guys. It saves the lives of Whammon. There's no better ways to respect Whammon. Whew! Whee! Oh my god, they just keep coming. Alright, Rad, train that sword rank. Rad was stronger than he looked. Yeah, this is good. And we'll just keep Mecha next to him. And Sarah, you can probably just sod off at this point. Unless, um... I guess what we can do... I wouldn't mind if Orson got an, um... Actually, no, I'm gonna send him further down, but I'm not gonna give this Rev Revenant the forest. I'm just gonna go down here. There we go. Keep getting experience. I bought two new Torch Staffs uh, prayer to this chapter, so I do plan on using them all. Sarah's actually level 16. I could probably promote her soon. So, how much experience do you get for the Torch Staff again? I keep forgetting. I'm just gonna count. So, she goes from 13 to 28. So, that's what? Uh, 13 experience points or something? I don't know. My Manx math isn't great. Um, Alright, so what if we put uh, Manx here with the Steel Axe? I'm not sure if I want Raisin to go near those dogs, honestly. There we go. We'll put. I know there's a white. I know there's a bone walker here somewhere, with a bow. So I'm gonna be a little bit careful. Careful, not go too close, because I know he can come out of the fog and just screw you over. Also, I pray Rad right is fine here. I mean, he could get hit, but his chance of death is really low. I think. 
And now I'm building rad mecha support and giving rad experience, so this feels pretty efficient. And the steel sword is also pretty good for weapon experience, because it gives two points of weapon experience. So that means he gets two and then four, and if he kills, that is also doubled, so he can get six in a single turn, which is pretty good. Although I think uh, rad sword rank is pretty good, so... I don't think leveling his sword skill is going to be an issue, let's just put it that way. But I- oh, okay. Yeah, so here you see, this is the problem with Astra right now, so... Um... I mean, the Steel Sword isn't, like, something that is sad to waste, but it's still, like, five uses of a Steel Sword that I just wasted there. And I didn't really get anything out of it. I killed the zombies a little bit faster. That is a good level up, though. I think Rat's gonna be a pretty stellar Swordmaster. I thought Swordmasters got Astra when they promoted, though, but I don't think skills work like this in the this way in this patch. I think everyone just gets their skill, and that's it. I don't think they get skills by leveling up. Uh, also, this is a nice way to waste the Sword Reaver. Yippee. Thanks, Orson! <laughs> it's like, I'm not gonna waste this axe on you. Here, have a crit. Alright, now the boss should move, unless the eye goes first. Now, here comes the boss. Oh, he has a silver blade. And now he's dead. And he's gone. Nice one. Yeah, I could probably get, like, Orson to promotion range pretty soon. Speed, luck, defense. Orson has not been leveling up all that great either, honestly. He's just sort of getting carried by his Poogee. Oh, hi there, doggy. Goodbye, doggy. So, if I remember correctly, you get the best item in the southern chest, so I'm probably gonna save my key for that. I do hope I get soup soon, though, because uh, I, I really want a rogue. I want a rogue that's not slow. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot Orson has like no resistance whatsoever, so these eyes are actually a little bit scary against him. I can't remember if Mogals get bonuses from terrain or not, do they? 